hello welcome to my youtube channel today i am talking about why the chinese government permitted three children policy on may may 31 the china announced that the chinese couple would now have a maximum of three children according to the chinese news agency President Xi Jinping agreed at the meeting. The census released in early May found that about, about 12 million babies were born in China in 2020, which was 1 crore 8 lakh in 2016. This is the lowest number since, since 1980s. In 2016, the Chinese government changed its one-child policy to allow couple to have two children, although the situation has improved somewhat for two years since that permission was granted. It has been uh, decreasing again. Four years later, the Chinese government changed its policy for the second time. In 1989, the Chinese government ruled that the Chinese couple would not have more than one child. Family that did not follow this rule were forced to have abortion in addition to fines and dismissal. Frequent policy changes have economic, social and political impact application as well as the geopolitics in China and around the world. According to a report, China's one-child policy has led to a several imbalance in the country's female to male ratio. Most family focus on having a son. The a professor of National University of Singapore say that the Chinese government's policy has resulted in socio-economically low income men failing to get married. A new said says the sense rule will be reflected individually in each region of China. Many women will think to twist about having another child because of the high cost of living in the big cities. On the other hand, people in rural areas will give more importance to family custom than expense. This can lead to new type of socio-economic problem. Many feel that as China's economy has grown exponentially over the decade, Declining population will have an impact on world economy because there are not enough young people to grow China's economy. The number of old people will increase constantly. In 2010, where 9% of population was over 65 years, in 2020 it stood at 13 uh, percent. The Chinese government can try to control this problem by raising the retirement age of the people. A report say that the China's market-based economy has led to widespread prostitution in the country. Although prostitution is illegal in China, it is not going to stop because of a small number of women in the population and the fact that many people are moving to work in the city's industrial area. According to a report, there is prostitution in the name of happy ending. In some cities, prostitution is practiced in name of Mrs. Parlor. According to a article prostitution using social media is on the rise people are not being sold in china now but people are being rent
Just as the number of the unmarried middle-aged men in China has increased due to the one-child policy, the success of two-child and the three-child policy is also being questioned as the women in the urban areas are not ready to the have more than one child due to the high cost. No one is sure if more older people and the fewer new working people, people will be able to drive China's economic growth forward. In 1989, the China adopted one-child policy with a focus on economic issue. In 2021, the success of the three-child policy is being questioned due to economic reason. Even with so much impact on the economy, no one is sure of China's economic growth. Just as difference in urban and the rural attitude toward the child-bearing will give rise to new social inequality. Also, the increase the political problem. For the economic reason, the Chinese prefer male children. Prostitution is not going to stop in that country now that the chance of getting a bride for marriage have decreased and there is no other legal way to satisfy the instincts. Society, economy and politics are all now at risk as a result of giving purity to economic growth over human instincts which will control China's geopolitical aspiration in the days ahead.